Hi, this is Sean with OMU Energy, and today we're going to show you how to swap the 12 volt battery in a Chevy Bolt. These are great little electric cars, awesome value, probably the best value EV you can get out there really right now. Um, really good range and, and at a solid price, and they're, they're well built. Um, so we're going to upgrade the battery on this car to an OMU Lithium. Uh, lithium 12 volt batteries are much more reliable. They last a lot longer and you save a bunch of weight in the vehicle, which is awesome because that adds to your efficiency as an electric vehicle to be hauling around a little less weight every time you go anywhere, um, which of course extends your range by just you know, a little, little bit, a little bit. And um, so we really love upgrading these, these cars and all electric vehicles to lithium. And uh, we think that's the future of 12 volt batteries in general, and that's probably where the manufacturers will go. But for now, these cars are still shipping with lead acid, which is unfortunate, but um, that's okay. You can fix that by upgrading it yourself to an OMU lithium 12 volt battery. So from the perspective of tools to do this swap, it's pretty simple. You just need a socket wrench with a 10 and a 13 millimeter socket, and then some kind of extender because there's one 13 millimeter bolt that's about that far down from where your hand can get so you've got to have some way to reach that um, There's a couple of, of Protective brackets on this battery that are kind of interesting and uh, They just they just provide impact protection for the battery itself uh, We're gonna remove those and they both come off with 13 millimeters sockets and then the uh, there's a brack one bracket that holds the battery in its spot um, that we'll remove and then there's the two lugs of course that connect to the battery and both of those are 10 millimeter uh, Wrench or socket to remove so pretty straightforward pretty simple on that side uh, From a safety perspective. We always recommend wearing some kind of gloves with a rubber coating um, For electrical hazard safety. I know it's only a 12 volt battery and it's a 12 volt system so it's not incredibly dangerous, but they still recommend um, something to protect from, from potential shorts. And then uh, safety glasses, of course. Lead acid batteries, uh, especially bad ones, sometimes they'll have cracks on the side and um, you, you get that sulfur smell, the, the rotten egg smell basically. And that, that actually is, is uh, somewhat of a hazard. There's, there's sulfuric acid in the battery, so you don't want to get that on your hands um, or in your eyes, of course. So. So if just working with lead acid batteries, these are, these are good to have anyways, or good to use. All right, so here's the process and then, and then we'll do it. So you're gonna remove two bolts here uh, on the top protective bracket, and then there's a front protective bracket you remove one bolt from, then those protective brackets can come off. Then we'll remove the negative terminal lug, uh, and then we'll remove the positive terminal lug. Then we'll remove the bracket that's holding the battery itself and then the battery's free, we'll swap them, uh, we'll put the bracket back on, we'll reconnect the positive terminal, then we will finally reconnect the negative terminal, and then we'll put those protective brackets back in place. Pretty straightforward, uh, and we'll show you how to do that now. All right, first I'll remove this bolt here, 13 millimeters, and while we're doing this, uh, the sockets, I always use a, uh, a uh, composite, because it doesn't conduct electricity. And so that will keep you safe if you accidentally drop your socket wrench across terminals or something like that. To speed up the process, you can always still use like a cordless drill to remove bolts. So those two brackets come off very easily. And they're all, it's all 13 millimeter bolts. All right, so now onto the terminals. Bring in your 10 millimeter socket and we'll loosen the negative. We typically remove the negative terminal first uh, because if you're gonna have a loose wire hanging around, you'd rather it be the negative uh, of the battery than the positive because the negative is already connected to the chassis anyways. So now we do the same thing on the positive, loosen that up with a 10 millimeter socket, and then you can slide that off, clip the plastic covers kind of back in place, and then tuck that kind of just to the front a little bit. Then we're gonna go down deep here. There's a 13 millimeter uh, bolt that we need to, to remove. So now to remove that one, you just 
bring your socket wrench or whatever you're using to, to get it and loosen that all the way up. Then you can reach in and lift the bolts out. This bracket is kind of a little awkward to get out just because it's it's kind of anchored inside of that one. So you have to kind of rotate it over to the side a little. And then tilt it up and slide it out of that back hole that this angle goes into. And then once that's out, then the battery can come out. Of course, be mindful, these lead acid batteries are not light. They're quite heavy. Ugh. So make sure you're in a good spot to be able to lift heavy weight. And then we'll, uh, we'll do a quick weight comparison to show you the difference between this OEM lead acid battery and our uh, lithium. All right, so lead acid coming into the scale and it's gonna come in at 32 pounds and just about 14 ounces. So 32, 14, and then we bring our lithium in there and we're at eight pounds, four ounces. So you lose about 24, a little more than 24 pounds, like 24 and a half pounds by swapping to this uh, lithium 12 volt battery in this car, which is pretty, pretty awesome. All right, so let's bring this battery in to replace. You put, of course, the negative, which has got a blue cap on it towards the back. I um, always recommend just leaving those caps on until you're going to actually make the connections. So first, put the bracket in place that holds the top of the battery. So you kind of fish that inside of there, and then the front just goes the seat back down the way you got it out. And then, of course, you're just going to put the 13 millimeter bolt back in place and tighten that down. Once that bracket's in place, you can go ahead and reconnect, starting with the positive terminal. When you make this connection to the positive, nothing should happen. The car shouldn't wake up or anything like that because it's only half, half the battery, it's not fully connected yet. So go ahead and snug that down. It should be tight enough that it doesn't rotate. Then you can push the plastic cover back over the top. And now we're gonna make the connection that will bring the car back to life. And that is your negative connection. So when we make this connection, just move kind of quick because when the car first wakes up, so to speak, uh, or this connection is made, it's gonna have a little bit of a current rush. So if you just barely tap it, it could arc and that kind of stuff. So just kind of line it up and then push it down quick and it won't be a problem. Um, then tighten that one up. Same thing, nice and snug, shouldn't wiggle back and forth. That connection is good. Now we can put these protective brackets back in place. Starting with this one, we can put the, let's put that in there and then throw the nut on. So it's kind of odd, there's two different sizes and one of them won't thread onto the other. So the, the one that goes there is gonna be this larger one. Put that in place, 13 millimeter to snug it down. Then your other bracket goes here. Put the other nut on that side, 13 millimeters, snug it down. Then last, this bolt comes in from the side here to secure that bracket. And then snug that down and you've got these two protective plates back in place and the battery swapped, you are good to go. All right, so you can see pretty simple swap for this car. Um, it's a great upgrade. You're gonna, I mean, it's a fourth of the weight of the, the stock battery. So you lose a bunch of weight. It's a more efficient battery. So every charge and discharge cycle, you lose a little less electricity that just gets burnt off as heat with the inefficiencies of, of lead acid or just inefficiencies in electronics in general. Um, but this is a more efficient battery, so it's better in that regard. 
Uh, you're also more eco-friendly because this battery lasts way longer, it uses far less materials, and that lasting much longer brings it to another great benefit, which is that you don't have to swap it as often, which saves you money in the long run because even though the battery costs more, that first investment or the, the first battery swap, um, you're, you're, you're offsetting several other times that you would have to do that with the lead acid. So instead of doing it three times, you do it once. And so once, one time labor, one time material cost, um, that's always more efficient uh, on your pocketbook too. We're happy to, to, to field any questions you may have. Uh, always reach out to us. We're at support.omu.com, O-M-U, O-H-M-M-U. Um, and then, of course, our website is omu.com and you can get our batteries from us directly there. And uh, we look forward to connecting with you. And thank you so much for watching our video about swapping the 12 volt battery in your Chevy Bolt and enjoy your car.